What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today we got a new bowling ball from Swag. We actually got a couple of new bowling balls from Swag. Uh, we're gonna see if they can make my bag coming up for the, uh, for not only the Players' Championship, but first we got the RPI in January. I got the Graffiti Pop and the Fantasy Days. First up, we're gonna take that Graffiti Pop out here. I put the same layout on both of them, the typical 45 by four and a half by 45. We're gonna take it out here fresh lane condition actually there's a few shots on it now I threw it a little bit and I will be honest with you I'll completely be upfront with you I did hit the surface of the graffiti pot because it was a little too clean the first three few shots that I threw it it was real clean too smooth down lane I hit it with a fresh 2000 pad and uh, by hand and it definitely made it a whole lot better not that it was bad it was really clean it made me tighten my angles up but if I wanted the ball to hook a little bit more I needed to hit the surface so we did that so we're going to take it out here uh, here in a minute stay tuned they say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. So we've got the uh, the graffiti pop here first up. And remember, I told you we did uh, we touched the surface a little bit, to take some of the shine off. Still looks fairly shiny, but we got that typical 45 by four and a half by 45 layout on it. And we're gonna go up the lane. We're gonna move our way left. We're gonna see what we get out of this thing. I did throw it a little bit, and I told you before it was too clean before. Everything just wanted to go behind the head pin. As soon as I touched the surface, this thing turned into a monster. So. Let's see, uh, I haven't tried to throw it up the lane yet, so let's see if it does a very good job going up that 9, 10, 11 range. Ooh, it wrapped a 10, but that thing scooted down there pretty good. That scooted down there really good. I'm actually excited about that. That was sweet. So hopefully, as I move left, it continues to read the middle of the lane and go through the pins. Had leg day this morning so my legs are tired again i gotta stop doing it on video days but tuesdays are the only days i really get out here to be able to get early and video a little bit so we're gonna move three left with my feet we're gonna go three and two stay in the rolly position Let's see what we got oh missed left it's tried to stay there crunched a nine pen but it was still pretty good still pretty good sneak peek give you a look at the fantasy days this one i'm real excited about i'm hoping this uh i hoping it's it's as good as the swagger was as a symmetrical solid it's going to be a battle between the swagger and that ball to see what goes as my other symmetrical solid because i'm taking my Helios, idle Helios as my other symmetrical solid. All right, we're gonna try to throw that same shot, but we're gonna get it to the right like we're supposed to. That's better. Oh, and it wrapped a 10 again, but man, it picked up that middle of the lane really good. This ball don't like the rolly hand position. It must want me to get around it. So we'll have to start moving left and get my hand around it. So we're going to make a, a just a small change. We're not going to get around it a lot. But as I've showed you before, I'm just going to go two more left. As I showed you before, we've been here. This is my rolly position. And then I'll go fingers down to get a little bit stronger. And then I rotate in to get all the way around it. But right now, I'm just going to go with the fingers down. We're going to go here, fingers down a little. just to create a little bit more. And that, and that made it get down the lane a little bit further. But that one came around the head pin too, a little bit behind. But I think we're in pretty good shape. We really haven't missed the pocket yet, so that's good. I think it's starting to lane shine on me a little bit because it does look a little shiny in the track area again. I'm gonna move a whole five left and I'm just gonna start getting around it just to see what happens. 
Not maximum, but a little bit. Oh, left again. Four pin. Man, everything is flying left off my hand for some reason right now. What do I do with my coffee? Oh, it's way back there. <sighs> All right, let's try again. So you guys can see what it actually does when it hits the pocket the right way. We haven't struck yet. Well, not a good strike anyway. Got an awful lot of operator error going on. Oh, a little better. Ah, so that one, of course, splits the 8-9. Throw it where you're supposed to throw it. We're in good shape. So what I'm noticing is you're definitely going to want to keep some surface on this ball. Not a lot, but enough to keep the shine off of it. I think the shine makes it go a little too long. And it's not flippy by any means. But if we get it to read the middle of the lane better, it really gets going and continues. Well, five more left. Now we're on 35. Try to hit that 18, 19 spot. You see how far down lane it's getting? Now I'm gonna touch it again with the 2000 pad the way I had it before, because now it's got some lane shine on it. You can see, just 2,000 pad, those of you looking, 2,000 pad, if you can see the numbers on it, I doubt it. But we're just going to touch the surface just a little bit more and watch it pick up better in those areas. We're not, we're not hammering on it. I don't want to make it super dull. We just want to crack that shine off of it to get it to see the spot better. Whoop. Got to kick that out of the way. Use the towel. Now that just takes that shine off of it. Now I'm staying in that same spot. <laughs> See if it picks up how it's supposed to now. Yeah, see, so that one really picked up the middle of the lane. So now we can open our angle back up and should go through the pins. So here we go. That one, you really seen it pick up. Now it's got a shot on it. It should be perfect. Flare's pretty good. All right. Now we're gonna go, we're just gonna make the adjustment. We're gonna go two and one left. Ah. I read the middle of the lane really good, but it didn't quite get through the pins. Deflected a pinch. Bummer. It's trying really hard. It rolls really good. It's just not quite knocking them all down right now. Try again. Go a little further left. A little bit more around it. come off the dry it will not so again this is another one that doesn't want to quite pick up down lane it's reading the middle of the lane really nice so it's wanting to have those straighter angles again it's another pearl and as i've said you know these guys the swag stuff they're strong they're solid hybrid type covers have been really good Let's see, this is probably going to make me slow down quite a bit. That's all right, we'll get her going over there. That ought to get there. Yeah, so that looked a lot better. It made me slow down quite a bit, but it, it got through the pins. It got in between the eight and the nine, not quite splitting them, but it got there. So it looked good. It's not a super strong ball. Some of the other graffitis were pretty good. Uh, obviously, I like that no graffiti, as in the ASEM. I think that was a hybrid, I'm not sure. But it reacted like a solid, so I used it as a solid. Let's try this again in here. Ah, 
that one really picked up and went through the pins the right way. That was sweet. That one did the right thing. All right, let's start moving our way back left, or back right. I want to see, now that we got some surface on it, we got the lane shine off of it again. Let's see what it does in the middle of the lane, or just right in the middle of the lane. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I got that one dead right. But it picked up and threw a pretty sick messenger. That was crazy. That's why you want it to read the middle of the lane. Because if that's behind the head pin or if that's the way it was before, that's probably 2810 all day long. Ah, I wrapped 10 from that spot. That's twice it did it from there. But, I mean, it looks really good. I like that. All right, there you go. There's that graffiti pop. Now, just like I told you, even when it got a little bit of lane shine on it, it still went a little bit long. So when you get this ball, make sure to touch the surface a little bit. Maybe you only need three or 4,000 on it. I needed to take it down to two. I wanted it to see the middle of the lane a little bit more. I think maybe three was probably the best bet. So that way I still had a little bit more pop, a little bit more energy, because 2,000 2, seemed to make it a little bit too early. So I think the mix in between with 3,000 would have been good. But otherwise, this thing rolled, I mean, it, it rolled good. I mean, it did the right thing, especially playing straighter. It's pretty typical with these this brand bowling balls. They really like to play the straighter angles. You start to get left, uh, it, it, they struggle a little bit. Some of them do. Uh, there's a few of them that do really well from in there, that Joker Wild. Uh, I remember the, uh, the Legends Bloody Ocean Pearl was really good from in there. Um, and you'll be surprised when you see this Fantasy Days. You'll, you'll be surprised what you see out of this thing. Um, but that's all I got for you today. Make sure to come up here to Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center. I'll get you one. We'll order one up. We'll drill it for you. We'll find your PAP. We'll do all the good stuff that has to happen for your ball to be successful, for you to be successful with these bowling balls. Um, otherwise, hit that link in the description and get yours today. Um, but that's all I got for you today. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.